you here. Today I'm going to be doing a review, not an unboxing, but a review on the iPhone 3G. Sorry that it's not an unboxing, uh, it's just I've had my iPhone 3G for a little while now, which really maximized the, um, the quality of my review, seeing as how I have tons of time to use it. I also got some tips for you guys while, uh, while uh, operating your iPhone. Uh, but actually, tip one, uh, never drop it. Like, try your best not to drop it. I've done that so much now that actually dust is getting underneath my touch screen. And I've actually taken it apart and tried to get the dust out, but I stripped one of the screws. So now I'm kind of screwed. And I got tons of scratches on my screen. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick review. I'm going to give you all the specifications of the phone. I'm going to give you, like, the resolutions and its pixels and its sizes and all this stuff. And uh, some formats that is operationable with the iPhone. Uh, seeing as how I didn't find much of that on uh, on YouTube, so I'm gonna do my best. So here are the specifications. All right, as you can see here, you have the width of the the height, width, depth of the iPhone 3G. Its height is 115.5 millimeters. Its width is 62.1 millimeters. Its depth is 12.3 millimeters, and its weight, which is which is not indicated, is 133 grams, which is also 4.7 ounces. Now, as you can see here, you have, at the top, you have your sleep-wake button. I call that your power button, seeing as how once you hold it for a certain period of time, it gives you the option to turn it off. A little bit lower there, you see your, uh, your uh, ringer silent switch. That allows you to, go f to change it from the ringer or put it on silent. You have your home button, and you have your volume rocker on the side to choose between the volume up or volume down. As you can see here, you have the option to pick the white or black iPhone 3G. The white one is solely um, available on the 16 gig model, and the black one is available for the 16 gig and 8 gig. The 16 gig currently goes for 299 Canadian on a three-year contract. As you can see here, you have the bottom and top specifications of the iPhone 3G. At the uh, bottom, you have the 30-pin dock connector, which is universal for the iPod and iPhone. Um, Built-in speaker and microphone. Speakers on the left, microphones on the right. As you can see on the reverse side, you have the 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone mini jack, also known as the flush headphone jack, meaning you can use uh, many different kinds of headphone jacks, such as the ones specifically made for other cell phones that are a little bit smaller than the ones you'd, let's say, use on an iPod, which usually have a built-in microphone. And you have your SIM card tray, which you'll use a tool quite similar to a paperclip to open. As you can see here, you have your display, which is 3.5 inches diagonally. It's widescreen multi-touch display, 380 by three, th four, sorry, <laughs> it's 480 by 320 pixel resolution at uh, 163 ppi. Support for display of multi languages and character and characters simultaneously. Now you have your battery here. Your battery has a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery, charging via the USB, of course, to computer system or power adapter. Its talk time is up to 5 hours on 3G and 10 hours on 2G. Standby time is up to 300 hours. Internet use is up to 5 hours on 3G, 6 hours on Wi-Fi. Video playback is up to 7 hours. And its audio playback is up to 24 hours. Now, as you see here, you have your, I your iPhone or iPod headphones. Its frequency response is 20 hertz or to 20,000 hertz. Its impendence is 32 OHMS. And for the iPhone headphones, it comes with a built-in microphone, which also allows you to play a little bit around with the music, whether to stop or play it. Now, when you purchase the iPhone, it comes with the iPhone 3G, the stereo headset with mic, dock connector to USB cable, USB power adapter, documentation, cleaning polishing cloth, and the SIM eject tool. So those were the specifications. All right, so now that you have all the specifications down, I'm just gonna go through a few uh, other neat features that the iPhone has. It has uh, GPS, and the GPS, I must say, is really amazing. Um, I'm in the car, and I'm driving along, and about every five seconds it updates, and it's, it's really amazing. I, it goes quick, it's fast, and it's very accurate. Sometimes you're driving along the road and then it says like you're in a ditch somewhere, but it quickly goes back on track. And you gotta like think when you're on when you're on the highway, you know, in the middle of nowhere, you'd be kind of surprised that you can even get GPS, seeing as how satellites and uh, Wi-Fi and Edge and stuff would be kind of limited in those in those kind of situations. But it seems to be able to find its way. Um, uh, what else do we got here? Uh, I didn't put the camera. I didn't put specifications of the camera. The camera itself is 2 point megapixels. It's um, photo geotagging. Not too sure what that is. 
It's iPhone and third-party application integration. Cool. Oh, third-party. Okay, I'm supposing when with App Store. You know, it ha has a lot of different kinds of applications from App Store that uh, use the i the iPhone's camera capabilities. So uh, I'm sure that you've found some applications out there that manipulates the photo, maybe even night vision and stuff like that. Language support. I'm not going to go through that because it has a lot. Mail attachment support, viewable document types, JPEG, TIFF, T-I-F-F, -F, GIF, G-I-F. Well, these are all different kind of images. Yeah, GIF I know is like a, a small photo, like with lots of detail. Um, doc, docx, htm, html, which are web pages, dot key, which is keynote, dot numbers, which is numbers, dot page, jizz, which is pages, dot pdf, which is preview, and adobe, uh, Acrobat, dot PBT and PBTX, which is Microsoft PowerPoint versions 2000, 1997 to 2003 and version 2007, dot text or dot txt, which is text, dot VCF, which is contact information, dot XLS and dot XLSX, which is Microsoft Excel. Um, the compatibility with the, its mail application on the iPhone limits you to, here I'll go on, I'll check really quick. It only limits you to, uh, why am I talking before I look? Ugh, I wouldn't be able to know because I already made my account. Oh well. Um, it limits you to Yahoo, I don't know. All I know is you can't use the only one that I think would be the most popular, which is Hotmail. But if you jailbreak it, you can download this thing called Free Pops, which allows you to uh, use your Hotmail on your iPhone. Um, which I really recommend doing. Jailbreaking is really cool. You might think it's wrong or against the rules, but it's really fun. Um, oh, made a sound. Um, environment, environmental requirements. Operating temperature, 32 degrees to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 0 to 35 Celsius. Non-operating temperatures is minus 4 degrees to 113 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity, 5% to 95%, non-condensing. Maximum operating altitude is 10,000 feet, to three, or which is 3,000 meters. What else? Windows system requirements. PC with USB 2.0 port, Windows Vista or Windows XP, home or professional, with service pack 2 or later, iTunes 7.7 .7 or later. Mac system requirements, Mac computer with USB 2.0 port, Mac operating system X version 10.4, 10.4.10 10 or later, iTunes 7.7 .7 or later. Uh, anything. Sensors, is, it has an accelerometer, um, it has an ambient light sensor which is used when you're making calls. It uh, shuts down the light system once it realizes that the, uh, the phone is up to your ear because it's just wasting the battery and you can accidentally operate the touch screen by touching your cheeks. And it has a, a proximity sensor, which I have no idea what that is. What are some other cool features and stuff? It's capacity 8 gig or 16 gig flash drive. It's, boo, what else? Boo, 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 boo. Environmental status, iPhone 3G embodies Apple's continuing environmental progress. It's designed with the following features to reduce environmental impact. Apple is the leading company for the worst environmental products. They really try to trick you here, I guess. They're really bad environmentally wise. They suck, actually. Um, so that's all the specs and tips and cool things I can say about the iPhone. Don't drop it at all. Really bad. Scratches it. You'll really regret it later. Puts dust under the screen. Scuffs it. Dings it up. Can even uh, mess up the motherboard and the software. So I really recommend keep it in your hands and put it put a protective lens on it reduce scratches or completely prevent scratches so thanks for watching please subscribe rate rate five star and please check out my channel and my other videos so thanks for watching